in seventh grade, and I will be performing Getting the Courage. All right. So um, just just be conscious of it. Make sure it's never it's never hurting, right? 
when you're when you're doing anything okay because you you know so right. and that and that's something you just want to be conscious of as as you grow and get older and, and work through all that um at the end it's got to be bigger man i mean you just spent a whole monologue talking about this girl that you want to ask out and then when she says yeah, why did it take so what oh okay <laughs> right i mean it's got to grow to that ending that when she says it it's like i want to fall on the floor you didn't expect that to happen right so make sure like this is really fun dynamics you could increase the levels of some of it because it's all kind of a little bit in the same place not too bad because there's really good beats and stuff that are happening but and part of it is because vocally you're staying the same in, in sound so you want to find out um, when it's a little bit more emphatic and then it's like oh god no new york what, what are you doing right um but at the end definitely i want you to be more specific in your staging right so um, if you're at that lock, then it's tricky when we're on stage. So it could be that we've got rolls of lockers this way and Katie's is just around the corner. And are you seeing her at all throughout this thing? Like you're not seeing her in a distance or anything? Oh, I see her at the end. I know you see her at the end, but I mean throughout. No. You don't. So um, could there be like a picture in the locker that you're kind of stalking her? You have a shrine of her in the locker. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you call yourself a stalker, but I'm just saying, like, what inspires you to begin speaking, right? Why is this on your mind when you come into the space, right? So just think about that, where that inspiration comes from. And um, in as you're, you're standing at the locker the whole time? Yeah. Is that correct? Okay. So can you, just a couple little tweaks, just to, so that we get your face more careful when you, do the ugh, this sort of thing. Don't bring it completely to the side because we lose your face. So it can be like, oh Lord, but don't go all the way this way. Oh, yeah, because you do that a lot. So you just want to make sure that we're not losing your fantastic facial expressions. <laughs> the clock, make the clock up this way instead of behind you. Oh, yeah, um, and then when she comes in, uh, that's where I didn't believe you as much. Yeah, so like all of this was super fun and everything, but then when she came in, I didn't really believe that you were seeing her and that she was really present. And so part of me, I wasn't sure that she actually really was there. I, I didn't know if it was a continuation of the thing. Oh, okay. So I definitely need to see a shift in you, which you, like maybe you, you bump into her, right? Like you close your locker and you could do a little flip of the thing if it's a locker or whatever, if you want a pantomime it, just make sure your pantomime's good. Yeah. Definitely. And then go to turn and then, oh, ah, hi, hi, Katie, yeah, right? And let that be a bigger moment that somebody is in the space with you. Yeah, I think that'll help solidify it. And let us see you really get like awkward and, and where do we, and that maybe that's where he's um, jumbling on his words. And take that moment to really get the, I'm trying to think of an appropriate word here, um, <laughs> the, the courage to ask her. Do you know what I mean? Like, we, I, I, no, I'm going to do it, right? And I want to see that moment oh. that you finally ask her and really anticipating that she's going to say no. And when she says it, it's like, what? Like you almost don't ever seem like yeah. when you didn't even hear what they actually said and you start talking in another way or whatever. Really let that shift and be explosive for you at the end, okay? Um, can I take just like the end leading into that? And then um, another thing, just in your slate, like I love this casual demeanor of yours, like with your hands in your pocket right now, but careful not to be too casual okay. in your slate. I love that you're so personable and likable, but you don't want to come off unprofessional in yeah. that either, right? Okay. So maybe one hand in the pocket instead of both. <laughs> yeah? So, I mean, if that's you, right, I'm not going to be comfortable, but um, just you're not there, but I just be careful not to get too casual. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so where would be a good spot for you to take it from? Okay, just give us a little build up before she comes into the space so we can really lock in on where she's at. How about like, well, like well, remember that time when I got really creeped and we start from there? Yeah. Oh. And so, and be off like, are we imagining that you're looking in your locker and there's a mirror? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So really lock in on yourself in there that you're looking at your things and maybe you're like playing with your hair that we're establishing what it is and but then telling your story okay. and whatever it is because you've okay. got so many little fun things that are happening there okay okay yeah go for it do it from there
Remember that time we went down to the creek to skip rocks and I ended up falling in and I ended up hitting my pants and we laughed so hard and she gave me your jacket tied in my pants so no one laughed at me on the way home. Okay, I want you to do that again because I feel like you rushed through the whole thing. Did this really happen? Yes. Okay, it doesn't sound like that right now, right? Because you're just kind of rushing through it. Is, this is when you really discover, right? How you yeah. felt and that whole sort of thing. Take some more time and can you engage in the imagery of what actually happened? Yeah. Right? So remember that time? Oh, you went down to the creek. Like, I want you to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see the pea spot develop, yeah. right? Do you know what I mean? Don't rush that. Really see it okay. before you speak about it. Okay, do it again. What's the line right before that? Um, oh, you're going to. You're going to be without a name, without friends, and without gratitude. Do that then. And then, and then you get the uh, yeah. number. Yeah. But you're going to be without a date, without friends, and without bread. Just chill out, man. You have no reason to be nervous. Remember that time you went down to the creek to skip rocks and I didn't fall in and it looked like, looked like I beat my pants. We laughed so hard. And Give me your jacket tied, my friend, so no one laughed at me on the way home. That's when I knew she was my best friend. Katie, uh, hello, um, what am I doing? I'm just packing up for the boys outside at the beginning of the day. Actually, no, um, Katie, I was wondering, would you like to get a burger with me Friday night after the game? Yeah, like it ain't. It's about time, well, please, if that I guess. Okay, I'll see you at the gate after this game. Okay, bye. Not too shabby. Okay, so, and so you rush the in then, right? You gotta stay in it, right? So it's like, wow. Not too shabby. Right? You really take that time yeah. out. You're rushing it to end it. And you have this beautiful thing and you don't want it just to like okay. just clip it like that. That's that's yeah. where you send it home. So don't be so quick to be done with it. Still need more. Still need a bigger like uh uh it's a it's about time. <laughs> okay, right? It's it's got it let it sink in. Like you're rushing those beats there, really in that last part. And really like um because you're gonna shift. Can she actually come from an angle this way so you're not completely yeah. sideways, right? So put her on more an angle so you're more out front to us. Yeah. And really take that time on that last bit. Oh. I think he really needs to do this with a seat partner, with a, a, a person there. His biggest thing is he wants to be real. Right. He doesn't want to overact. Like he's a really good actor. And he just, he's like, I'm not going to overact. I'm like, but we got to go there to get Right. There. You know, like, because I love it. Like, so he's really good. Like, you're, I mean, I think that. You're a very um, Toby Maguire. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is that a good thing? Oh. It is a good yeah. thing. A good thing. <laughs> but he is one of those people that sometimes you're like, what is he feeling? Yes. Do you know what I mean? So he's so subdued that sometimes those motions are lacking. And oh, so right. it's kind of like, I remember him being on the verge in the beginning that I wasn't sure how good of an actor he was. Oh, right. And then I was like, oh, oh he's, he's a really good actor. Oh, right. So that's what I'm saying, is you want to be careful in being too subtle, that I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, there's a nice mystery to it, but yeah. you don't want to th make people think that you didn't get it. Yeah. You know, and I know you get it, but because you're trying to underplay it so much, we're missing that delivery at the end. I'm missing that like that final punch and I'm, that's what I'm gonna be left with. So really also don't rush off the stage. Okay. Yeah. So end it and it's like yeah. Leave it with a button, take that breath, and then say thank you. Okay. Yeah? You wanna make sure that you have a finish to it. Okay. So I'm gonna help you to work on it. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. All right.